now we need to fold these things back. So let's just fold them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They just kind of fold away. Oh, beautiful. We're not going to go nearly as fast or as high this time. Uh, I'm actually going to try and turn off set axis just a bit just to see what... Oh, oh yeah, we got some real wobbles going on here. But that's fine. We just need to get some... Ooh. Um, the dragon is like doing some sort of dance here. Maybe I should throttle down a bit. Okay, you know what? Let's now... Okay, we got this flying. Oh. It tore itself apart. Do you ever get muscle cramps or blood clots in space? There are interesting problems that happen in space that you don't get on Earth. One of the problems I remember was on Skylab, putting on socks became a major chore because normally when you bend down to put on shoes and socks and stuff like that, gravity is actually helping you do it and you're relaxed, but when you're actually bending in space to put on the socks, you're actually using your muscles on your belly. Uh oh. Okay, let's let's get this thing out of here. Okay, so now um, we have. Okay, no, now where's these things? Let's try facing forward. Let's try firing some stuff. Uh uh uh. Bring the wings out. That's right. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful dragon wings. Maybe we should make it face backwards. Look, it's 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 flying almost. Almost. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. Wait a second. It definitely has some aerodynamic balance issues. Hey, look, they survived though. Not totally a failure. I think the Elon might be onto something. Uh, we might be doing a power slide, which is not really something you're supposed to do in a rocket unless you're like a, an Atlas 411. There we go. Oh crap, I had it. Yeah, this has a really interesting power slide functionality. I feel very much like I'm flying a rocket in Oakland here. Like, we gotta do some, like, rocket side shows. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well. I should probably put a parachute on this capsule, shouldn't I? Okay, come on. Come on! This, this, these wings are pointing the wrong direction. Even with the struts, these wings are misbehaving. Okay, you know what? Let's just get this out of here. Okay. Uh, we've got to deploy these wings. That's right. Get the wings out. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Look! 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 It's almost flying. Now, just need to pull out of this dive. Uh, you know what? I could do it. Oh, shoot. I deployed the parachutes as well. I have too much mass up the front. This is totally accurate. Let's see if we can make a turn in it. <laughs> I mean, this isn't so bad. I'm going to put more speed into this thing. Because I want to put get some height. If we get too low, the parachutes will open. I want to kind of fly back over the runway. The parachutes are, are strangely not making it that much worse. Look at this majestic beast. Truly, uh, you know, <laughs> invoking the spirit of, of Daenerys Targaryen's children. And I'm actually going to turn hard. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Totally working! And now I just need to make sure that we land somewhere safe because we're going to be descending in reverse. Hey, look at that victory! 
Elon, you are a genius. Elon was right. Dragon wings on the dragon, and let's let's just like fold them away. How elegant that creature is. Okay, well, we've kind of got some of it. It's not quite perfect. Oh, dear. Okay, too much. Uh, out. Send the fuel out of here. We've got definitely too much lift at the front right now. Ah, uh, you know what? Feeling sort of stable here. I think it's just a center of mass issue. Brilliant. Look, we're gliding. So now we can actually start firing our engines. See, these are far more rigid. Ah, there we go. So these ones need to have 60 degrees as their, their thing. Look at us go! Look at it! Is this not a glorious creation? You know what they say, Valor Morgulis, all Kerbals must die, right? This feels way more like a realistic space vehicle. Let's try flying through the, the mountains. Look, and we're even breathing fire out of it. Obviously we're throwing fire out of the wrong end for a dragon, but you know, it it's... Truly a marvelous creation. Realistic dragon wings are very hard to simulate. Uh, and these are merely, you know, approximations. Okay. Uh, I need to... Yeah, yeah, I was worried I was going to end up crashing into a mountain there. Yeah, not everybody takes to dragon flying right away. I, I do not think I have Targaryen blood in me. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Now I wonder if I... Uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. I'm having some stability control issues here, obviously. Uh, in, in. Move that center of mass forwards. Right, there we go. We got control again. Yes, yeah, center of mass issues here. So I think at some point I'm going to have to shift the center of mass back so I can try landing it. Okay, so let's try uh, transferring the fuel backwards, right? See if that happens. Right, fuel backwards and then boom! Oh, yeah, not quite right. Boom. Not quite right. And then so we'll tell it to... Fire in reverse. And here's the problem, actually. If you just tell it... In fact, what I should do is just disable stability control. Because that will... Okay, you know what? We do have a parachute, set of parachutes available. Yeah, the parachutes I think we need. Because I just don't have the fly-by-wire system that's necessary. If I had the full-on fly-by-wire system that would be developed by expert GNC Dragon uh, pilots, then I, I, I would... I think we could fly this a whole lot better. You could probably do this entirely without the parachutes. Oh, there. It, yeah, there it is. Opened. Then move to the final position. Ah, there we go. Well, that's a little easier. I, 
I've obviously pumped all my fuel mass forwards to make sure that... Oh, look, we're actually overheating somewhere. I'm actually pr applying some pretty serious angle of attack to this, and it's working relatively well. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is what happens when you run it at four times regular speed. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm trying to... Maybe we can make it to the dessert launch pad. Okay, obviously aerodynamic stress is a little higher than I expected. Ah, well, so much for re-entry. It was going so well until it exploded. Oh, yes. The preset mode, that's what I was looking for. There is only one reasonable solution, genetically engineer real dragons. I'm going to say I would not be happy. Would not be unhappy. Like, <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, like, um... I don't know if you know, it's Jack, Nick, Nick Frost, Nick Frost, he always talks about how if you want to create dragons like in Jurassic Park, one way to do it is to take like a chicken and just reactivate old genes and all that until you've made yourself something that looks like a dinosaur. And my response to that is, well, if I could do that, why couldn't I just make a dragon instead? And you just know that there's people that would be much happier seeing a dragon. Oh, I wonder what happens if I deploy the air brakes. Like, i got to undeploy them if this thing starts to look aerodynamically unstable. Look, it's like one of those dragon that has like a warning frill around its neck. Hey, I like it! Now we're down to like Mach 3. Now let's try flying towards the target. Elon, your design is genius. Like, I, I mean, you know, I'm not one of these people that, like, is a fanboy that, like, worships everything that Elon Musk does. I'm just like, you know, sometimes he gets things right. But I'm going to say, this, this is really is genius. This is totally, like, so logical. Dragon wings on a starship. Like, I, I thought he was joking. Like, but it's clear that this is a brilliant piece of design, which is going to push the limits of aerodynamics. It's going to be a paradigm shift. This is where I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to actually have an altimeter that works. And of course, that's the... F yeah, we need fuel transfer as an action group. That would be very nice if that actually worked. I've asked for that for a long time, trust me. We're going to ask it to point in reverse. And in fact, what I should just do is disable stability control. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Ah! Uh... Hey, you know, they, they sort of survived. So look, obviously if I could get that fly by wire, that would make things a lot simpler. But that was the idea, was that if I had a button that would select this configuration, then we might be able to, like, move the center of pressure even further back and keep the whole thing steady. And yeah, then uh, we can, say, fold everything away. Okay, well, it didn't quite work. But, you know, we can close the bay up and make it look... I, I think that s the stability... It, the problem isn't the higher altitude. It's simply me not having the controls I need. Don't you dare fall over on me. If you fall over, I will not be happy with you. You will go to bed without any supper, let me tell you. Anyway, um, I think that we have done some major important experiments. We have gone places where, where, you know, obviously only geniuses have ever dared to dream. And I think we've had great successes. Does anyone think this has been a success? I think this has been a success. I'm going to drink to the dragon, to the starship dragon. Fly safe, everybody, and may uh, may your all your launches be good, and your fuel be pure.
and your thrust be powerful, and your drink be tasty.